about the fact that already this team has established itself as, as really the best defensive team they've ever had. They've got two great goalies in DeMarcus Cousins and DeAndre Jordan, and they just have length and athleticism everywhere else, all over the floor, to just cause havoc. And you have to feel sorry for China. They've had to deal with this now three times in the space of just over two weeks. They played the two exhibition games in California in late July, and I, I think China has to be thrilled <laughs> that they don't have to see this team now for three years, not until they host the FIBA World Cup in 2019. I am sure they are quite sick of every time they turn a corner and there's just more length and athleticism waiting for them. And the United States can do that to everybody. I mean, th they actually find defense fun, which, again, I think is going to be this team's signature and this team's identity. Interesting. Well, you know, we've seen a lot of China. We've seen a lot of Nigeria and Venezuela as well, obviously, not the marquee teams in the world, but this is a different go-round in international play. I mean, USA is, the, is the, the major favorite in this tournament, unlike years past when they've only been the favorite. Um, is, is there any danger, Mark, of overconfidence setting in?